or watching 8-bit days a week and today I'm gonna play and test out Air Guy's God Bless the Ring and see how well it runs on the PlayStation Classic and of course this is a, a fighting game uh, jointly made by Square and Namco I believe so some of the characters may look familiar it's so originally an arcade game by the way and as with uh, my other videos minimal tweaking actually no tweaking at all just enabled the show FPS there to see how it performs and uh, as with other fighting games it's two player and it's you can't do two-player mode unless you have like a USB hub on the PlayStation Classic because the other USB port is being used where you store your um, the games that you added alright I'm seeing some performance issue here it may look like it's a solid 60 frames there but it's definitely not smooth so you may need to do some tweaking I'm gonna hmm, who should I choose God hand I'll just go with everyone's favorite Tifa Right? Isn't that everyone's favorite? I'm not sure. Okay. Well. Hmm. Some interlacing issues there. Um. Could definitely use some sort of um, scan lines. I know scan lines is possible on the emulator settings if you do some tweaking but it really really looks horrible it's not a perfect fit so to say and um, I'd rather have it off for this one although normally I would have it turned on if it's possible I do so on the SNES or NES Classic I do like my scan lines but for the scan line option that's hidden somewhere here on the PlayStation Classic it just looks terrible and I don't really recommend it but with that the game isn't perfectly smooth uh, this game that is but at least you get a constant frame rate but just that that um, uh, you know the interlacing issue there I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm using the right term but you should be seeing it on the capture there it doesn't look good to be honest might be distracting to some Ugh. to lame her out there Ready, and here's a character that looks sort of familiar <laughs> but no no relation to that guy although rumors persisted back then that he is a 
Mishima related. Alright. On this stage, I do see, notice that it's not smooth. Actually, it kind of feels like there is a slowdown. Even if the frame rate frame rate shown there say, says it's constant, um, I definitely feel something that's uh, like not up to speed, so to say, so to speak. Here's a character that looks like someone from uh, Toshinden. Oh well, sorry about uh, constant usage of the punch attacks there. Maybe I should have chosen some other character. This was kind of um, rare on the arcades back then. I did see it only quite a few times. Nobody really played it though, and I don't think the arcade version had the Final Fantasy characters. It's a shame though, I, I would rather have played this uh, to players because the single player mode is actually, honestly, kind of uh, boring. The, I, um, some of you may still have fun with it, but this is one of those games that just doesn't do do me do any good for me with regards to single player even if you like uh, fighting games and all right sorry about the loss there um yeah if you if if you could get around the small graphical glitches there, I think that's uh, something you can actually ignore. Or maybe there's actually a tweak fix somewhere. I don't know, but with no tweaking, this is what you get. And it's not exactly perfect, but it's playable. That's it, this has been Air Guys. You're watching 8 bit days a week. Please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I will do more games in the future. And let's test out more PlayStation games running on the PlayStation Classic.
Thanks for watching.